Dude, I just made a Christmas sweater in two seconds. Tell me that's not cool. Hi, my name is Conrad Hogg, also known as Deus Ex VFX, and today I'm in collaboration with Audacious Fashion Studio to show you how quick and easy it is to make clothes in 3D using their incredible software. Make sure you download it as soon as you can because in the near future, it won't be free anymore and I don't want you kicking yourself about missing out on using it. You're welcome. You don't have to thank me. But you should, and uh, I encourage you to type it out in a comment. So without any more tangents, I'll get on with the video and show you. So our first step is that we're gonna be taking a 3D model. So step one, learn how to 3D model. No, I'm just kidding. There, there are other add-ons that you can use to create 3D models. Currently the one that I use is called MB Lab. It's just a plugin for Blender. Yeah, this video is not about them. So MB Lab, that's how I made this 3D model. If you want a starting off point, so step one, we just have to make sure that our 3D model is selected. It is. And so now I just go up to File, Export, and then go to FBX. Now I'm going to go over to the file that I've already previously made called Audacious Fashion Models. Click on that. And I'm just gonna, I already have it named White Male Model because it's a white male model. Uh, and after, after that, I'm just gonna put B so I know that this is before I used Audacious Fashion Studio. So B, and since I have selected, I'm just gonna click selected. You don't really have to, I'm just doing that anyways. And then you click export. All right, now that it's done exporting, we go over to Audacious Fashion Studio and we click start creating. So they have a library of different models that you can choose from. You can use and export these avatars from their library, but you can also import your own models to create clothes the way I'm doing. And now we can go over here over to user. I've already done this before when I was practicing. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go to import mannequin. Then I'm gonna find my file. Found it. And I'm just gonna click on it. This is a short process to loading. All right, so our character is already facing us. That's perfect. And now I'm just gonna go to guidelines. If you've ever used Mixamo, this will probably seem pretty familiar to you. Yep, all you have to do is just do that and they show you exactly what to do. Perfect. And there, that easy. So we're obviously using a human 3D model, but it's actually really cool that they give you this option to use a not human 3D model. And what it'll do is if you have like a dog or something of that variety, it'll just coat the entire thing in cloth in the shape of the animal that you imported. And what you do is, I'll show you with the feature later, but all you have to do is just like make little cuts to separate, you know, if you want to be able to see the head of the dog because it'll be covered in the cloth. Then there's this option to cut at like the neckline or actually you can cut it anywhere, but you'd want to cut the neckline to see the head. And then you can just like separate it. Then you would be able to click on the head and then delete it. And then you would actually just have the clothes visible and the head. Was that confusing? And you can't click okay yet because you got to go back to guidelines and you have to click create. Then next, and now you can click okay. All right, so now we're just waiting for this to load. You can now use your mannequin, thank you. We're gonna click on, yep, we have that, and we're just gonna click okay. So right now you can't tell, but he's actually wearing what kind of looks like a skin tight suit, so I'll click on it, and then I'll go to color, and I'll show you that's actually, yeah, that. So everything that's red is cloth. And now I'm just gonna click on creation, cut with ring, zoom in a bit. And I'm going to make a separation between what I want the shirt and the pants to be. So I just left click and then right click to confirm. There, now it's separated. Wait, huh? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I messed up. So I'm just gonna tell you how I messed up so that you don't mess up. So I accidentally scrolled on the character and I changed the size of the brush because if you scroll while not having your cursor on top of the character, it goes in and out. But if you were to do that, if you were to scroll while hovering over the character, it changes the size of the brush. So that's where I made my mistake. So now you don't have to. Isn't that fun? Learning. Okay. So now I'm going to do what I tried to do before. Left click, accept, there. 
So first things first, I'm going to click on the shirt. And in all honesty, this video could probably just be like two minutes long because of this button. I will show you the other brushes, but I'm just too excited by this one. So I'm going to show you this one first. So you see this, it's a shirt. Crazy, right? Okay. So you can affect the looseness and the inflation. So watch this. Dude, I just made a Christmas sweater in two seconds. Tell me that's not cool. If you're a blender user like me and you've ever tried to use a cloth brush, like me, you're probably growing some gray hairs, but that was just, that was just too easy. I'm just gonna smoothen that out just so it's not super bulky on the chest area, you know? Oh, just like li li literally like, come on, come on. That's pretty dope. And I don't use that word lightly. So down here, this little button, that's a symmetry button. And now I'm going to smoothen out both sides. Just a little bit. Yeah, like honestly, that, that looks fine. And not only is the simulate thing to like these two things, I mean, you can also, actually, let me save. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I gotta say this real quick. I always forget to do this. When it comes to any software I use, just save as much as you can. You never know when you make a mistake and then you can't undo it. I've lost sleep over that. There, now I don't have to cry to my dog later about the mistakes I make. I mean, I probably still will, it'll just be for different reasons. All right, let's continue. So, the torso, that looks perfect, chef's kiss. But I have to change this a little bit around the arms. It's a little tight. So, it's actually, it's a brush as well. I could do more if I really wanted to, but like, do I have to? It just, it looks, it just looks sick. Like that's perfect. This would have taken me so long to do in the past. Too long. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, yeah. And you, there are also different settings for the simulation. Um, so this one right now, I, I know you wouldn't use a jean simulation on a shirt, but like, I did. You can do like, I probably should have used heavy cotton because it's supposed to be a sweater. I don't play by the rules. I'm different. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go over to this mesh pants. Actually, I'm going to turn the symmetry off. I'm just going to make like, I don't know, baggy track pants or like squat pants, something like that. So same thing I did before. Now there is an issue that I have that I'm going to have to fix that I can't just use the simulation function for. So because my 3D model had for some reason the dopest calves you've ever seen, I'm going to have to go over here to, where is it? Oh, I'm just blind. Pinch. So I'm going to turn the symmetry back on and I'm just going to pull it away a little bit. This is just gonna help the simulation function inform better. All right, now that little voice in the back of my head is telling me to save again. So I'm gonna go back to the simulate option, play around with this again. Oh, there we go. I can actually, I can make a little bit of an improvement around here. So clothes don't usually ride up the butt that much. This is a family program, so I'm gonna have to smooth that out. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Yeah, so there we go. And now it's time to export it. So go to file, export. I'm going to export it as a Wavefront OBJ. What do any of those words mean? Don't ask me, I don't know. Export mannequin. So yes, we want to export all those things. And the Audacious Fashion Studio touch. Man, I'm just gonna save. 
So now that it's done exporting, I'm going to go back to Blender and I'm going to delete the default cube. Say rest in peace to the default cube. Goodbye. And now I'm going to go to File, Import, Wavefront OBJ. And then find to where you exported the file to and now just open it. I've made a grave mistake. Okay, I think I know my mistake. I didn't have both of these selected. So just make sure you go over to meshes and you have both these selected. So I'm just gonna shift click there. Now they're both selected. Let's try that again. I'm just gonna repeat the same steps. File, export, OBJ. There we go. Okay, so that was the issue. So now you know not to make that mistake like me. And now we have to rig it. So we could spend the next 10 minutes annoyingly and painstakingly try to create a skeleton for this, but you're a 3D artist. And what we care about most is time efficiency. So quickly, I'm going to use Mixamo to rig it for me. There are lots of great videos out there that can teach you how to rig, but this is just mostly supposed to show you the applications of Audacious Fashion Studio. So rather than spending the next 15 minutes showing you how to rig, I'm just gonna do it the easier way. All right, let's do this quick. Upload. Select character file. Click on character file. Next. This looks familiar. Download. Download. Delete. import FBX then go to where the download went click on it not sure why it's that tiny so I'm going to click S increase the scale and there we go now it is rigged up and it looks beautiful and now you got to give it a texture so you can go online there is a huge library of textures all you have to do is just type in 3d texture you'll find a million websites i just have a plugin where i can just access that from right within blender called blender kit they're not paying me so you don't have to use them but you should use audacious fashion studio though and i'm just gonna add the material I'm just gonna add some light so that we can see if that worked well or not. And I'm also gonna switch the cycles. And I'm also gonna add an HDRI. And cool. I'm gonna add that texture onto the shirt as well. I think it would just look better. And would you look at that? Look how easy and quick that was, as opposed to the other method of using the going to sculpt mode and then using the cloth brush, which is the bane of my existence. All right, and now with the sweater selected, I'm gonna click tab, which just takes me to edit mode, or you can go up here into object mode and click edit mode that way. So 15,000 faces, that's not that bad, but we're gonna try and get this as close to game ready as possible without doing retopologizing. So since they're all tries, I'm gonna see if I can turn down the quads. Uh, I can select all of them, select off of it again. I'll select off of it again, but all you have to do is select A and that's it. Or you can go to select all and shortcut is A. And now you just go up to face and tries to quads. There, and now I'm going to decimate it and see how low I can get that number without making it look too polygonal, polygonal, pointy, basically. Yeah, so basically we just click add modifier, go to the decimate tool, and let's see how low we can get that. That actually looks pretty good. Uh, I don't see, it looks a little pointy, but Honestly, that looks pretty fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise it up a tiny little bit. Yeah, I think that looks great. I'm going to apply it just so I can see what it looks like in edit mode. 
yeah, it's not the cleanest geometry, but it definitely works. And yeah, you can do the exact same thing for the pants. And just to see how the clothes look when the body moves, I'm gonna go into solid mode and I'm just gonna animate it doing something. All right, now let's see what this expertly animated sequence looks like. Are you ready? And Alexander wept, for there were no more worlds left to conquer. Truly a stunning display of skill. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot. Don't forget that Audacious Fashion Studio is free for a limited time, so don't miss out on a game-changing application like this. My name is Conrad Hogg, aka Deus Ex VFX, and I'll see you guys later.